Hello there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to Captain of Industry. And today we start this episode with a warning over there telling us that the tree harvester has no trees to harvest. Well, isn't that unfortunate? Let's... where is the harvest tool? Let's select a couple of extra trees. These trees are in the way, so we want to get rid of them. Uh, let's see... Mm -hmm. no, wait, 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 wait... Because in this episode, my friends, we are going to establish a new assembly lines and hopefully, hopefully get into uh, additional resource harvesting and for that we kinda need to get rid of a couple of trees. All of these trees must go, so uh, go crazy harvester, alright? Start chopping down all of those trees for me. But uh, yeah, my friends, in this episode, we are going to achieve a sort of uh, better assembly line, shall we say. This thing is looking fugly and inefficient, and we are going to start taking care of that. Now, uh, as I said uh, in previous episodes, this game is very similar to Factory Town in many regards, and uh, the reason why that is important is because in Factory Town I like to create modular des designs instead of just belting things all over the place, and so that's the philosophy that we are going to go through. So first, let's go into our general machines, and now we should start using this, maybe, the electric assemblies because it assembles things much faster than the manual ones or we can just you know upgrade them in the upgrade the manual ones in the future but you know what given that we uh, kind of want things to be built properly let's go straight into the electrics it's going to take a little bit of time but it's probably for the best uh now uh, we can get into concrete and into copper mining, however, mining and processing both of these resources uh, requires a lot of, mater of construction materials. So I think it's probably for the best if we start by um, assembling uh, these uh, lines first and then taking care of those resources. So, the way that we are going to do this is uh, quite simple. Following the philosophy of Factory Town, we are going to have uh, warehouses uh, right in a straight line so this is going to be like a, a, a road we can't really build roads but uh, we can leave things in unoccupied so that the truckers can move and in gear we are going to have our road area which means we kind of want to start having our assembly area probably around here and not too much more to that side so let's see just uh, triple check everything, align it with the farm over here on this tile. So let's go. And now we are going to start by making uh, the uh, construction components and the advanced construction components, right? So we are going to come over here. Let's just put one square of distance between them. And uh, for construction components, we require uh, wood, concrete and iron plates and for the advanced we then are going to require a few uh, additional things but let's take care of the um, basic components first so uh, how many machines are we are going to have six six in total but we are going to start with three of them and then we upgrade to six in the future so let's go like this one two three and then we control c this i said we control c this in here yeah, and we pause it because we don't want to build it right now. We just want to occupy the space so I don't build anything in the future. Because I I, can, I I like to do these kinds of things even, uh, sometimes. In any case, it doesn't really matter. Let's just uh, put the storage at three tiles distance. One, two, three. Three tiles because it's the bare minimum to have a belt go there. And then we put another one over here as per usual as... Uh, is this properly aligned? I think it is. So let's pause it. Once again. That's fine. This is just so I can ramp up production in the future once we get into level 3 components. We kind of want to have those laying around. And then, right now we are going to go for a 3 to 1, a 3 to 2 ratio, so that we are producing uh, more basic components that we need to make advanced components. Let's go like this. To advanced component production and then we put it three tiles in front eh, no 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 yeah three tiles in front of the first one 
There we go. Now, to make advanced components, if memory serves me right, I need electronics. So what we are going to do is create a separate electronic components just to serve these two things. Now, electronics are produced at a ratio that allows you to have one factory for two of those, I'm pretty certain. Hello? Uh, this is manual. Uh, these are also manual, so the ratios are the same. So we can produce four every 60 seconds, and we require two every 80 seconds. Meaning that uh, even by having just uh, two assemblies, uh, we are continually producing more electronics than we need. Yeah, if if my math is kind of correct, we can actually supply three of these with just one electric thingy, which is pretty nice, because in the future we are going to be able to build a third one, so let's go like this. Now, my friends, I just played this game a little bit, okay? I haven't explored everything that it is, I am not a master of this thing, so we are going to be uh, discovering the game together, okay? So this is what I think is the best. We pause this one so that once we can ramp up uh, with this area, we can then unlock this one and um, ramp up production in here as well. These are advanced, right? Yes, they are electrical assemblies. Now, let's do, like I said, the uh, um, electrical component assembly area right here one two and then you go like this uh yeah we need to uh distance this a little bit more like this yeah okay this probably is more than enough yes it is let's now put it like so right in the middle three tiles and then a belt can come through f from here this way right we are not uh, going to be uh, blocked by that thing right let me just double check over here that we can actually put a conveyor one tile high and move through here no problem yes we can pretty cool all right that's what we needed we are not going to uh, burn these resources uh, because this is a secondary industry just to support uh, this one. We don't need to store them. We are going to have a, a separate uh, industry to create electronical components uh, to uh, export to other builds. Uh, so, yeah, this is it. This is the build. Now it is just a matter of belting everything together. Uh, just give me a moment because I'm going to uh, rotate the camera around a bunch and I don't want to give you seasickness. All right, my friends, this is it for the input. You have no idea how much... <laughs> I have rotated this thing, I am feeling dizzy myself now. Nah, just joking, just joking. It's not that bad, it's just that um, the belts are a little bit finicky sometimes, they like to have a mind of their own, and so you have to rotate the camera like 5 billion times until you get it right. Now let's go like this. Uh, wait a second, no, 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 no. Even though I'm, n I'm not a huge fan of symmetry, all the time. Sometimes it's it's not terrible to uh, to have symmetry, you know. Let's go like this, just to make it look a little bit better. Uh, yeah, it's like there is no other way, right? In any case, in any case, now let's do the uh, second thingy over here. It's not that difficult, right? We go like uh, this, and we split it like so. I'm pretty certain that uh, th four tiles is enough to bring from level one all the way down to ground level. And we're going to do like this, and then we connect this one, bring it to level one, press R so it doesn't uh, connect to anything, and we go like this, like this, one forward, and then we press R again, connect. Let's go like this, like this, like this, R again, connect, and then in here... Yeah, this is, like, the reason why, come on, c c come on, come on, come on, you, you can't connect, her. Uh, you're really going to do this to me, that's fine, that, that's okay. Alright, there we go, and then we just connect everything once again, let's bring it down so the, the game stops doing weird stuff, let's go like this, like this, bam, like this, like this, bam, and then the final one splits between the two lines, just so it doesn't look super ugly there we go now i didn't belt this part over here because you know there is no point it's going to be paused so uh we rebelt everything and distribute the materials later on besides um this thing is not going to be operational for a very long time we need to unlock uh, components level three the red components in order to make belts level two uh, otherwise they just can't input resources fast enough to have to make this thing useful so 
and there is no point in belting this. Now, this thing is going to be solely focused on resources and then we are going to export and import um, and get these thingies off so that the trucks don't do weird stuff. We'll copy the, rec uh, copy the recipe and apply it uh, to the other thingies. And in here we are going to do uh, the same. Off, off. Construction parts level 2. Copy the recipe and apply it to the other ones. And in here we are going to get off, off. Electronical components. And uh, we still need to belt these things. So we go like this. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Beautiful. And now we just need to wait for all of these things to be completed. Once they are completed, we'll set up the resources over here. In fact, we can set up the resources right now. We want wood, concrete, and plates over here. And in here we want rubber. Give me that rubber. And then we want some copper. Beautiful. Everything is set up. Now we just need to wait for this thing to be built. Okay, so now we are kind of missing some concrete, my friends. Uh, yeah, let's buy as much as we can. We can spend all, all of our wood. We can replenish that rather quickly. We'll have to buy a few more slabs of concrete before we can set up our own production, but that's fine. Wood is infinite, so we don't really... Uh, well, it's not infinite. There is a, a finite number of trees, but uh, for all intents and purposes, it is infinite. Uh, so we can just get that uh, concrete going this way. It's right here, and uh, in fact, our guys have already uh, took most of it uh, to other places. Don't worry, uh, that's fine. Let's now uh, unpause this, because uh, we only have a couple of workers, so let's unpause this to get more. And um, he maybe even build a few extra... Di nah, it's better if we don't, because uh, we need the uh, level 1 parts to make the level 2s, and uh, this thing is going to be a little bit expensive on the level 2 parts, because this thing requires 23 parts, actually. Uh, so, yeah. Oh well, my friends, this is going to take a little bit of time, because of our concrete economy, right? We are completely out of concrete. The only one that we have available is the one that we can buy, and uh, well, as you can see, it's getting very, very pricey to buy uh, concrete, but that's fine. We have a cornucopia of wood available to us. It's just that, uh, well, I, I can't just go completely ballistic and uh, buy as much concrete as I would like, right? So this thing is going to take a little bit of time. While that thing is building, however, how about we take care of our concrete needs, uh, at least putting things in the ground in paused mode, of course, so that, you know, we don't waste materials on the, that thing. Uh, but, uh, oh well. Let's take a look at the concrete recipe, shall we? As you can see, we have several recipes over here. This is the efficient recipes, and these are the basic recipes. Uh, we kind of want to go for these ones. We need cement, sand, crushed slag or rock, and water. Uh, luckily for us, we are producing a bunch of slag over here, and that's what we are going to use. So we are going to stop emptying this thing. We are going to only empty it once it goes path past this point. We want to accumulate a little bit of slag so that we can use it in the future. Uh, that costs us nothing, so why not? Uh, so let's enable the planning tool. Let's put one of these down, whatever. I don't really... Uh, like, uh, this is not going to be in here, right? And, uh, yeah, we need one of these, right? And we need one cement every 40 seconds. The cement is produced... Come on. The cement is produced in here, the, in the, rot the rotary kiln. And as we can see, we produce two cement every 40 seconds. So one kiln can provide uh, two mixers, right? So we need one of these for every two of these, and uh, we also need one crusher so that we can turn the slag into slag crush. And as we can see over here, we can actually produce eight, uh, which is uh, eight every 20 seconds, right? Right, which means 16 every uh, 40 seconds, so we can almost provide three mixers with one slag thingy. Alright, so these are all the buildings that we need to build in order to... Oh, wait, one final building missing, of course, one of these, obviously. So these are all the basic buildings that we need. Limestone, coal, sand, slag, two slag crushers, four mixers and two kilns, right? Now, let me just organize these into a beautiful thing. Oh, wait, one final, final thingy, which is... We need two of these. Hello, one over here and one over here. 
Yeah, because we need the, these resources, these resources, and then we need to accumulate those resources over here and over here as well. Uh, cool. Now let's reorganize this into a, 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 a more compact thingy. Alright, my friends, I think this is far more organized. There we go. So this is going to be the storage for the slag, which then is going to be crushed and sent in here. This is the storage, storage for lime. Limestone goes into both of these things. Coal go into both of these things. Sand goes into this line over here. This way, at least we can save up on space and uh, resources instead of just building one container over here and then have trucks transport it between the uh, container for the mine and the container for the line, we can have the container for both the mine and the line be the same. This way, I think we are going to save up on a few resources. And how are things over here? Still not done. Uh, that's fine. That's totally fine, because now I'm going to have the uh, pleasure of just belting all of these thingies, right? So uh, first, let's start uh, <laughs> with all of these materials, right? So uh, let's see. How am I going to do this? This is not going to be... Uh, uh, very complicated. All we have to do is go like this. I probably need to bring this one layer upwards. There we go. Come on. Don't 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 connect. We think. Come on. G game. Game. You know you want to. You know you want to. Come on. Yeah, my friends. Belting can be a little bit complicated from time to time. So uh, yeah, my advice is start with the upper level so that the, come on, so that it is a little bit easier. To, uh, put down all the uh, sequential belts uh, it's just that um, yeah the game has a little bit of a mind of its own and so can be uh, a little bit difficult and the trial and error is going to be uh, required now my friends because belting at first might be a little bit complicated a good way for you to uh, never go wrong on what type of belt you should use is that uh, when you select different types of belts, uh, different import uh, outputs and inputs will be highlighted. As you can see, flat conveyor for the cement gets highlighted, and once I uh, change into the U-shaped conveyor, then the sand or the uh, crushed slag gets uh, highlighted as well. So, uh, you know, it's just a, a way to visually uh, see what kind of belt you do require for each type of item. There we go, my friends. Most of the stuff is belted, which is pretty nice. Now, uh, this thing can be, um, shall we say, expanded if we need to ramp up production. All we need to do is put a couple extra rotatory kilns over here and then split the lines going into this way for the um, crushed slag, of which we can even add another one over here to add additional input into that particular line. But uh, to be honest, and uh, not going to be required. No, uh, yeah, nope. This thing will produce um, a bunch of concrete and uh, we probably are never going to need it again. Now there is one final thing that we are still uh, to connect, which is the water. I almost forgot about that. I completely forgot about that, to be honest, but that's totally fine. That thing is not that difficult to set up. Remember, always bring that uh, at least uh, two or three tiles high. In fact, in here we are going to do another thing. You see, we'll have to build uh, the line coming this way, right? However, that is going to cut access to our excavators going in here, uh, which is not that great, which means we should build one of these. Now, these things are kind of expensive, as we can see. In fact, that reminds me, let's purchase a few extra blocks of those in fact let's let's purchase even more we still have a bunch of wood beautiful and uh yeah let's build one of these even though it's going to cost us some concrete it's better to have it right now otherwise i'm going to forget it and then in the future it's going to be messy so in here we can go like this we can connect to the bottom layer and just bring it underneath it however once we arrive in here we probably want to bring it at least two tiles high so that the trucks can move uh, freely the excavators will have no reason to come over here but our trucks will have a reason right and so this is just going to help Help us out and we are going to do like so and then connect uh, I need to press that there we go be beautiful now we can just go like this for pretty much all of them move over here connect over there uh -huh. come on and beautiful and in this one we go through this line right here connect over there connect over there and then on this line pretty much the same 
connect over there and then connect over there B U R F O my friends this one we are going to one pause so that the trucks actually uh, get this build because even though this is a ghost right here uh, this thing actually is already blocking movement uh, through here so uh, yeah it's kind of probably of a good idea to have that built how are we doing in here not great I forgot to import concrete that's why uh, in fact let's import more because we already have plenty of resources to trade and let's select another uh, recipe going into the future more vehicles because why not uh, research level two yeah we probably should get this one going because everything else is kind of uh, hefe right now uh, yeah let's get uh, research level two going vegetable farms going as well oh we already have crop rotation cool we have to go into our farms to put that into effect in fact let's take care of that right now because i have completely forgotten about that so we can't we kind of want to have one rotation of of potatoes another rotation of empty the reason for that is once it goes into empty it's going to start to replenish the fertility of the soil which over the long run is going to produce us more potatoes even though you know during a, a big chunk of the time it, we are not producing anything the next time we produce uh, we are going to have more fertility and therefore more potatoes coming out of it and uh, here we go my friends now even though this thing is not yet complete we are still missing one of these we already have parts production over here which means we can dumpster uh, this part which is actually quite nice because we are going to reclaim a couple of resources from uh, deconstructing all of these thingies now let's deconstruct this right and uh, this is going to be emptied before it gets deconstructed. Now we can already deconstruct the wood over here and the concrete over here, right? Bam, bam. We are going to leave iron, rubber and copper because these three uh, industrial assembly thingies still require those materials. And we don't have a uh, assembly area for this just yet. Once we build it, we'll deconstruct all of these buildings. But yeah, my friends, now that we have construction parts going, we can unpause all of this. Now, we are going to be smart about this. Let's not unpause everything at once. We want to unpause both of these first and all of these because these are resources. And then we are going to unpause just one line at a time. We are going to unpause this and this over here. Unpause this belt, these belts this belt as well, this industry, and these pipes, and this pipe over here, come on, this one, this one, I need to, un to un uh, unpause that uh, thingy, and this thingy, right, so this is just going to focus the little resources that we have in building this part first, so that, oh, we already have the towers uh, done, Let's, uh, so that we can start making our own concrete uh, right now. And now we are going to need two additional excavators and uh, four additional rides. Let's get this one. Uh, why is the game paused? Oh, the game is not paused. For a moment, my brain did not assimilate correctly the visual information that I was getting. In any case, we are going to need one of, the, of each for each resources and then two vehicles per... Um, excavator so let's start building these things right now while we have the time so that they are ready once we need them uh, to start mining operations now my friends these things were expensive and uh, it might have slowed down our growth a little bit because of the concrete uh, thingy maybe it would be better to get the concrete rolling first and then get this one going oh power problems we'll solve those uh, right now uh, however, I think it still was a good choice because uh, right now we can produce uh, components very, very quickly. Uh, now, we are running into some power issues, are we not? So let's go over here. How expensive are these things? Maybe a little bit expensive, but uh, it is what it is. Let's go like so, extend the pipe, and bam. This is going to solve our... Oh, wait, I still have the plan to... Uh, on. Uh, this is going to solve our power problems, at least for the time being. Uh, and in here things are already getting uh, moving which is pretty nice we already have the excavator so let's go one for here and two vehicles one over here two vehicles this is going to get uh, wait a second uh, excuse, me, excuse me a moment I completely forget which input goes where uh, oops 
Okay, uh, yeah, because these have a specific thing is specific input uh, thingies, and I completely forget which one goes where. Uh, let's assume this one is limestone. Okay, if I'm wrong, well then I'll deal with the consequences later. And let's assume this one is coal. The way we kind of can see that. In fact, let's not be stupid. Uh, let's deconstruct that, and then let's rebuild it. And yeah, this line is for coal. Cool. I'm, I'm glad I got that. Come on. And in here we're gonna get the sand. In here we are gonna get the sand. In here we are gonna get the slag. Now shall we unpause one of these, because we are going to need them. Unpause this, unpause this, and unpause this, and then we need to unpause... Like, let's just use the freaking tool instead of uh, going crazy. Then we need to unpause these lines right here. Cool. Okay, so this should give us all the resources that we need to at least start producing our own concrete. The second we have that concrete going, we'll build the remaining of the things. Oh, yeah, and we are forgetting uh, one very important thingy. Kinda, kind of important, we need to designate a mining area. Uh, as for limestone, we can start by going crazy on that area. For the sand, I kind of want to edit this area a little bit. Go like so. And then, mining designation. Plus two, start mining over here. Over here. And over here, there we go. This is more than enough sand, and uh, it's going to be more than enough limestone. Oh my lord, I can't believe that we have finally been able to do this. Holy Jesus, this thing is not yet complete. We are still missing this thing over here, which is going to be next, and this one over here. But we finally can start producing concrete. Because uh, I completely forgot, but we got a little bit of cement to start with uh, in our shipyard. Right here. See? Uh, so we can start co making concrete uh, ourselves, as long as the vehicles deliver the cement over here, which they are going to. Uh, now we just need to wait for the... <sighs> okay. We need to unpause that. My bad, now the crushed slag is going, all the other ingredients are already here, which means that... Oh. That's... Not good. But in any case, uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, because now, finally, after a bunch of time of waiting, we can now start producing our own concrete. And uh, yeah, my friends, if I learned anything, is that it was a mistake to, uh, to go for this one first instead of going for this. The reason why I did this is because, uh, you know, if we had this set up first, we had a bunch of component production going, and then we could do this one uh, faster. However, I underestimated the amount of components that we were going to need, so that was actually uh, a large mistake on my part, shall we say. But now, finally, we can produce our own concrete. We no longer need to be extorted by these guys over here. These guys are absolutely extortionists. They have been uh, getting a lot of wood for free, but oh well. And those are times uh, that are behind us. Now we can produce our own stuff. All right, my friends, we are kind of off the hook. We are still not yet... Uh, completely uh, recovered from uh, everything that we had to go through, but, uh... Huh? Oh, forgot one thing, my friends. Oops, my bad. Forgot to add one of these thingies into... Uh... Ah, into the uh, the build, completely forgot, but that, that that's fine. It's only eight components. Uh, uh, we already have uh, a few of those being produced, so... It's not going to uh, be uh, a major concern for us. But yeah, my friends, finally we have uh, component production, uh, concrete production, I mean. And uh, yeah, this is a major relief. I've been waiting for a little while. Like I said, my friends, if you have to learn anything from my mistake, is that uh, probably is a good idea to get the concrete first and then you go into mass production, um, or in this case, a mass assembly uh, thingy. Cool, now let's just produce a few components and then pause all of this so that we can go into full speed production of concrete and eventually we are just going to have so much uh, that the, all of this is going to be a, a problem of the past. Now, we still are lagging a little bit of, con of the slag to make the concrete because, well, 
in all essence we are completely full of iron, we are not using too much, but the second we start to uh, deliver the concrete over there, we are going to make components which are going to use the iron, which in turn are going to, it's going to create space and produce more slag, and in turn that is going to feed our concrete over here, it's all a positive snowball from here on out. Like my friends, the second part of this build got uh, got done so much quicker than the first one, It was n it's not even funny. Now these trucks are a little bit in the way, I don't like the having them in there, but that's totally fine, I'm pretty certain... Ah, oh, come on game. Pretty certain they are going to move away the second I do this, beautiful. Uh, we... Go, so now building this belt, everything is going to be fully automated and the concrete is going to be stored in this unit storage, and then our trucks will take care of transporting it from over here in here to be used for parts production, which is just great, and now we are only missing one thing, the copper. Once we automate our copper production, well, we have, achieve, we have achieved full uh, sustainability, meaning we don't need to concern ourselves with any resources from off-map, or uh, getting anything um, from other villages, or, you know, be careful with the things that we build because we might run out of uh, things. No, 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 no. Once we get the copper, we can go full uh, destruction mode and just get rid of everything that we don't want and rebuild it times and times and times again because resources won't be a problem. Once the slag production starts to kick in and once we get the copper production, we'll have more slag. Uh, this thing is just going to produce so much concrete uh, that uh, this is never going to be an issue again. But uh, yeah, my friends, like I said previously, this was a little bit of a blunder, but uh, now everything is fixed. We have our own production, which is just fantastic, and uh, that means that in the next episode, once we start laying down the foundations of our copper industry, we won't need to wait a thousand years to have everything ready, which is just fan freaking fantastic. But... Uh, with all of that said, my friends, I think that uh, this has already extended long enough for an episode, and I think we are going to call it in here. Next episode, like I said, we are going to take care of our copper industry, which is going to be just fantastic, but that's something for future me. And with all of that said, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode, and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Bye-bye. Mm,